Hello again, Media Arts Warriors. Today I am going to go over how to do a uh, six to eight color sphere so you can get used to uh, selecting colors and showing some value in a limited palette using Pixel. So, um, first thing is I'll show you this little picture which I've added to your. Um, in the Google Classroom, we're going to basically make a six color sphere and you're going to use four colors here along with the black and you can go through and add and change it up, see how it's got a little lighter area around this way rather than just having a black outline. That's up to you. I just want you to practice using multiple colors um, to show value. As long as it goes from dark to light, that's fine with me. You can do any colors you want. Um, as long as it's uh, monochromatic, meaning it's all shades of one color. Uh, I'm going to do gray because it's simple uh, and uh, to show you here on this uh, video. But um, feel free to experiment with any colors you like. So I'm going to pop back to here now. Um, there's my little example, but we're going to create a new one. We are just going to stick with this and we're going to use black. And we're going to grab the circle tool and we're going to go to the smallest setting and we're just going to draw ourselves a sphere. I don't really like that one, so I'm going to do it again. That's better. Boom. Cool. So then I recommend grabbing just a medium color of whatever you want. We're going to go with this medium gray here, and boom, dunk that sucker in. So we're going to go with multiple uh, shades. So if you look at it from here, we're going to, this is probably right here. It's about that color. So we need to go darker and get a couple lighter from there. So to select that color, we're going to go back to here. Click in here, and we'll go a little bit darker. And we'll grab a little bit of a larger, oh, wrong one. Get the pen tool. Yeah, let's get like the second one here. Yeah, that'll work. We're just gonna kind of come in and use this to Start our first value. If you mess up, like see how I got a little messed up right there, and switch back, grab the black, biggity bang, come back with this. It might be easier to use the stroke tool if you want, because you can kind of come in like that, or come up like that, and then just fill that sucker in. Them again. Deedly, 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 dee. That looks pretty good. Dunk that sucker like that. Boom. You can um actually put the grid on right here to see like if you want to like mathematically figure out the exact amount you would need. Um, but for now I'm just going to stick for the example. Um, then we can in fact, if you want, we can even get a circle here. Get the white. Go ahead and put that sucker in. Because we know it's going to be there eventually. We need a shade between this. Um, so let's go, or slightly lighter than this. So let's go here. And we will grab maybe a little bit bigger one. Putting that sucker in. Switch back to here. I feel like we need something between these because right now I've only got five and I kind of was looking for six. So let's go to the 
darkest here. Just go up a tad bit. Yep. Hmm. Not quite different enough. There we go. There we go. That's going to work. Let's go a little bigger here. Um, Get a little smaller, grab Mr. Shade number lighter here, clean that up a little, put some here even. Bring this dude out a little bit more. I think we can go actually one lighter, but not quite a white yet. Yeah. I think that could help. The thing about pixel art is you want it simplistic, but still reading as a three-dimensional shape. Right here, you can pop it out in a preview mode, which also helps. Mm, nothing's there right now. Yeah, right here is looking a little weird. So let's go back into it and see if we can expand out this color. I think that needs a little more something, something right here. Maybe even get the next shade darker right there, which will help. I think that's starting to do it. That's pretty much it. Pretty cool tool. This lighten tool here, you can use it to click and lighten stuff. Thing is, it starts making tons and tons of colors. But once you make your simple eight color one, I think this is six colors. Once you make this simple one, you could save this. Save as a sphere. We'll call this thing sphere. You're going to save it to your gallery. To turn it in, you are going to export, download that GIF, and you'll turn it into me. You can dunk this black if you want, or you can leave it transparent. I don't care. Um, if you dunk it black, it does look kind of cool. Uh, Regardless of how you turn it in, that's fine, as long as you turn it in as a sphere. You may also want to mess with adding that dithering tool. This is a, a multicolored one right here where I took the, the plus or minus and added in dark stuff from there. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let me go back into my sphere here. If you want to mess with this, this lightens it, so you can kind of click from here. Kind of come along these edges and lighten up the colors that are there. And all of a sudden, you've gone from nine colors to, uh, gosh, we're at 32 bit now. And you can get a nice kind of like blend that way. I got to pull too much light over this way, but um, you can mess with that if you want. This is how you can kind of like quickly fix and clean up and lighten dark stuff with that tool right here. You can hit command to darken if you uh, got too dark. I prefer to kind of manually draw every single pixel. I think it's a lot easier and you get a smoother look, but um, we're going to stick with that mode. Make the black in the background. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. You're just going to put together a uh, either eight, six to eight color valued sphere. And when you're done, you'll save it as a GIF. It should go in your downloads. To do that, you just hit uh, export, download, hit OK. It'll pop up in your downloads or however it works. We'll be right there.
boom, and you'll turn that sucker into Google Classroom with your name, sphere.gif. And that's pretty much it. Next thing we're gonna do is make some animated patterns. It's gonna be dope.